All right, quiz quest question for this week. Y is inversely proportional to square root of x. X is directly proportional to t cubed, okay? So we're going to start off by writing what we call the proportionality equations, right? And um, the important words that you need here is inversely and directly. So inversely means that you have to put the item that it is proportional to underneath. So I'm in this case square root of x is going to be underneath of some constant k. Now k or l or whatever letter that you decide to take is completely up to you, right? There's no rule that it has to be k. So it can be any constant letter. Same way x is directly proportional. So directly means what? You have to take the constant. I'm going to take m as my constant. You can take it as any letter that you like again. And this time it is multiplying to the t cube because it's a direct proportionality. So when it's inversely, it has to be under. And when it's directly, you have to just multiply. Now that I have these two, I'm going to combine these two to form an equation that connects y to t. So how I will do that is first I'm going to substitute for x, right? So this is going to be square root of m of, um, and square root of t cubed, right? Then I'm going to break this down further. I'm going to break this square root of m and square root of t cubed into two separate parts. This I can then um, further break down as k over square root of m into 1 over square root of t cubed. Right? This is fraction multiplication. If I multiply this fraction, I'm going to get this. So I've done that splitting correctly. And from here, rather than working with this as a constant, which is going to be bothersome, we can just call this some letter. So let's call this as letter B into 1 over square root of three cu uh, t cubed. And then if I want to simplify it, I can call this as b over t cubed like this. So what am I going to do from here? Um, from here, I'm going to basically um, then substitute values that are given to me in the question, right? So if you see in the question, it is told that y is 8 and t is 25. So I can start by putting this in y equals 8 b over t is 25 and this is going to be cubed. Now I'm going to work this out. So this is going to be b over square root of 15,625 and this then simplifies to b over 125. So therefore, now I can work out the value of b. b is going to be 8 times 125, which means that b is a simple value of 1000. But that is not the end of the question. You can see that the question wants to know what is the value of t when y equals 27. So what we are going to do now is we are going to basically replace the value of b that we have found and instead of y we will write 27. So 27 is equal to 1000 over square root of t cubed. Then you can take this to the other side. So this is going to be t cubed is equal to 1000 over 27. So in terms of how do I solve for t, well basically you have to now get rid of the square root. So to get rid of the square root, we have to actually square the um, 100, uh, 1000 over 27. And then if I want to get rid of the cube, I have to cube root the values on this side. So basically the final value is going to be cube root of 1000 so cube root of 1000 over cube root 
of 27 and the whole thing I am going to square it. So cube root of 1000 is basically 10, 10 squared is 100 and cube root of 27 is 3, 3 squared is 9, therefore the exact value of t is 100 over 9.